Hello everybody, this is the Desert Fox here, recording another uh, European Rose House Let's Play. I apologize that I don't ever finish these things. Bad things happen. With Byzantium, I recorded five episodes and everything got wiped off my computer. With Denmark, I recorded an hour of footage and I realized, went back and realized it hadn't recorded any audio. So now I'm just going to do Novgorod and try to conquer Russia. Because Moscowy, Moscovy is too easy to play as. I'm going to be Novgorod. Hopefully this, I, I, I will definitely finish this Let's Play. It'll be a fun Let's Play, so let's jump right into it. I got my grape juice that I've already drunk. Because grape juice is the fuel of life. That and coffee. Mmm, I love grape juice. Alright, so. Yes, don't we all love grape juice? Alright, so. Uh, as soon as this game loads, there we go. Put it in political mode, because you know I'm a political guy. And no. No, okay. Let, and then we're going to pick a form alliance with Tavir. Yep, seems good to me. Alright, Tavir, we can, uh, we can do that. Oh, wow, they actually love us. Hm. We both need it, believe it or not, Tavir. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We gotta get rid of that. Hmm. Yep, F7 does it. There we go. Moves it to the bottom corner. I like that. Alright, so. Oh, God. Okay, let's... Oh, yes, we're a republic. I love this. Election. We have to hold a premature election. This guy looks pretty good. I'll say we we pick a diplomatic candidate. Yay, Tavir, yay. Alright, so we need another mission now. Tavir is our ally. We got a diplomatic guy as our prime minister or whatever it is. Spread our culture to Kexholm. Nah, who, who's got you stick? Because I don't want to go to war with these guys. Not yet. Oh, yes. They got they got control of it. They hate us. With a passion. Um, where's our army at? Where's our army at? Um, let's see here. Oh, okay, we got a 9,000 man army. That's not... Well, I mean, that's not too bad. 8,000 man army. I that's, that's not too bad. But uh, comparing it to Muscawi... I mean, Muscawi, I gotta get used to calling it that. It uh, is, is actually not good because they hate our guts and you know what they say when people hate your guts they usually don't care too much about spilling them on the floor so um we need to pick a mission our mission can be because i don't want to spread our culture because that seems pretty boring we're going to try to conquer back that land from Moscow, push them back and uh, let's take a look at here form russian nation Administ I, I apologize to hear my dog barking. My sister's always messing with him. I apologize for that. Administrative... Shut up, dog. Administrative technology, at least 10, and he barks just to defy me. Um, owns Muscovy, owns... Have a core in Muscovy. Have a core in Novgorod, owns Novgorod. One of the firing must be true, owns... Okay. So... We got a lot of conquering to do, actually. So let's get right to it then. Obviously our economy is really good because we own Novgorod. Oh Novgorod. Let's not just look at that because of that. Yes, but does this place have rich stuff? Oh yes, fur. Very rich stuff. Very rich stuff. Not really rich stuff at all. Well, actually, I remember fur being rather expensive back in the day. Back in the European Universe House 3 days. Fur was a very good thing to have. Oh, it's better than copper. So apparently fur is, uh, fur is where it's at, man. Fur will make you rich. Sounds good to me. So, uh, let's round up our military, get it in one spot. Yes, Prussian issue. We do not want to make Moscow think we are weak. Um, yeah, that's not good. Let's... Oh, that's even worse. Okay, so. We have a claim on provinces we don't own. That's great. There's pirates. I thought they weren't supposed to show up yet. Well, I guess they are. This is an EU3. It doesn't start in 1399. We got a conquest, Cassiabella against Muscawi. Oh, yeah. 10,000, 11,000 men.
So we still got a long ways to go to meet Mrs. Scavi. These guys kind of like us. Now we could get some diplomatic relationships. Some of these people aren't very friendly with us at all. But they'd be willing to make alliances with us because they're scared. Uh, I'd be okay with the Ottomans being an ally allied with the Ottomans. Or maybe Crimea, they could help us. The Golden Horde, ha! Yeah, being allied with the Golden Horde. How ironic. Maybe Yaroslav, for now at least. They are a subject nation. Subject nation of Muscovy. Muscovy, dang it, Muscovy! Oh god. Alright, so, um. I'm just gonna sit back and become rich. I like being rich. Being rich is a good thing. Maybe Sweden. Oh no, these guys hate us with a passion. With a passion, they hate us. Yes, I got a passion for fashion. The White Sea, that's not racist. Um, the, the Baron. Alright, so. Let's merge these units together. Maybe we could actually stand a chance against the Muscovy army this time. Are they at war with anybody? Oh, they're at war with the Golden Horde and Uzbek. Apparently at war with, uh, yep. Apparently they're sieging some places right now. And the Uzbek, no, Uzbek, right. Where's Uzbek? Somewhere back there, maybe. Uncolonized land. Perm, just a place called Perm. Oh, they love us, too. You can't form an alliance. Oh, they're a vassal under Muscovy. That's really dumb. Actually. This video is going to be filled with my dog barking in the background. I know it because my dog won't shut up. I'm sorry. Oh, we've got colonies. Well, we can make money if we got rid of those colonies. Money that could be going to fund our navy. I mean, fund our army, not navy. Why would I say navy? Yes, hire the engineer. Oh, that wasn't good. We spent a lot of money. Let's get some Bardeci infantry. Um, technology, yeah, looks good. All right, Ladoga. Nice little lake there, Ladoga Lake. Be the private lake of the the Tsar of Russia, or the soon to be Tsar of Russia. Uh, but first, we must strike hard at Muscovy and knock them down a couple inches, a couple, a little bit. These guys might would maybe help us. Maybe Crimea. I really think me and Crimea could get along well, at least until I get down there. So let's improve relations with Crimea. We need allies. That's the bottom line here. Crimea is decently powerful. They could help us fight. Alright, so we need one more Bardeci infantry, that way we can match. Oh, they, they can support that, can they? Let's move them down there to Novgorod. That way they can match up with the mighty Muscovians. The dirty Muscovians. Yeah, but Sweden hates us with a passion, so does Norway. Denmark doesn't hate us with a passion, but, you know, it happens. Oh, look, Crimea loves us now. I bet that whole alliance thing is closer than it was, yep. 
Not the same religious group? Ah, that'll hurt. Neutral attitude? Yeah, that'll hurt. Crimea Trust Novgorod? Not really. Distant between borders? That hurts. How hard would it be to get a royal marriage? Hmm. I think we can get a royal marriage and then that'll help us tremendously. I was just informed by... <laughs> I was just informed by one of my uh, advisors who was talking to me in real life that it would help my nation tremendously if I enlisted gay people into the army and that if I took away certain racial groups' rights that I'm not going to say on YouTube. The thing is... The thing is... That Dustin and Colton, the folks who I just turned my mic down so that way they cannot scream and shout and interrupt the YouTube video, um, they are very uh, racially motivated people, and I'm not. I'm not a racist. I am a very equal. I'm, I'm for equality for all. Yes. Alright, so. I'm waiting for... Dustin just informed me that he's not racist. He has four black tires and a colored TV. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyways. So, Muscovy just got rather bigger. And that's not good. So that means we need to start making alliances with people like these guys. Oh, they hate, they hate our guts, don't they? Well, darn. They hate our guys, even though they love us. Do they even have an army that could help us fight? I know Tavir has a little bit of an army. Oh yes, they would accept it now, that's great. As soon as we get our diplomat back. Yes, send it. Send it. Yay! My... Kenyats. Interesting. I'm just going to go with Prime Minister. Ryzon accepted our offer to military alliance. Oh, that's that's 1,000. It's another 1,000 men. It's another 1,000 men viewers. We got this. We got this. We got this. It's going to help us tremendously, obviously. So Poland and Lithuania are ganging up on rebels. Of course, I support, I support those rebels. Oh, God. Anyways... So our invasion of Muscovy is getting ever, is becoming ever nearer. Oh God! Lose ten Republican tradition. Uh, remains ruler. He gains one. He gains. Oh, he gains a lot of stuff. One of three options will happen. Yeah. Heck yeah. I want to keep him as leader. He's a good darn leader. We are a mercantile republic. His name is... He's the Kianse. He's the prime minister. He is a Fonzi... And he... Is doing a fine job... At being prime minister. So... I need to set these guys as a, as a rival. Muscovy. Okay, what is Crimea's? They hit Georgia. And they hit the Golden Horde, so I want to set the Golden Horde as one of my guys. Now that's it. Now they do love us still, that's great. And we're getting close to that marriage we need. That's just great to know. Alright, oh! Look, I see there are 15,000 men. Marching back. To face rebels. Ooh, this could be an interesting opportunity. 
if we were to attack these guys right now, we might be able to make it down there and help those rebels out. Nah, I knew he couldn't make it. We would never make... Oh, gosh. What's going on? They're at war with Crimea. This is our chance. Take... Take you, Steg. Nobody would join. Well, let's do this, then. Al Akbar. Let's jump their armies. Dang it, they got away. Let's jump their armies right after battle. Let's help the Crimeans. Yeah, jump them, jump them. Yeah, we jumped them, guys. Followed them to Vladimir and probably Muscovia, if I know anything. Yep, and we destroyed them. Now let's run back here, where we can destroy the invading army. And rest up a little bit before we start conquering the rest of Muscovy. Regain a little bit of manpower and strength. Let's go to our economy and let's turn down fleet maintenance so that way we don't go bankrupt. Let's start conquering some stuff. I wonder. Oh, so close, dang it, so close, but yet so far away. Alright, yes, we're gonna siege this, and they're not gonna siege that. If they siege that with 1,000 men before we siege this with 14,000, there's a problem. No, I do not want to support rebels. That would definitely not make us more friendly. We're getting there, we're getting there. I don't know why I'm randomly clicking on the provinces of Sweden. What I do know is we're about to conquer this, then we're going to march up to Kagalpul and destroy their 1,000 man army. But they do have a vast, a vast nation here. I need kind. I do kind of want Crimea's support. As soon as possible. If they were to kind of get up in here and cause some trouble, that would be nice. And we seize that, and let's march up quickly up to here. Of course they did. A 14,000 man army. Can see cannot siege a place faster than a 1,000 man army can, because that's just the only logical way to go about things. Let's go and assault it. All right, let's follow them. Let's follow them to where they're going. Chase them down. I don't know what I just heard, but uh, I'm going to ignore it. Uh, from my my good friend Dustin. Gold is the sign of nobility. Nobility cannot be bought. Let's just say that right there. Darn these stupid. Yes, we finally caught them. We just we immediately destroyed them. You know, let's just destroy... Nah, let's go attack, attack out Belarus. Holy heck, they're building an army again. Nope, not gonna happen to my land. And I'm gonna catch them, yes. Yes. I'm, I'm guessing you're at war with Kazan? Oh, yeah. That should help them a lot then. And they're gonna run back to Muscovy and they're trying to build an army. 
but I'm over here desperately hoping that they cannot be able, that they will not be able to do that. The King of Burgundy dies. Oh yes, and then it gets split between them and some other folk. This is Kazan, right? Yep, that's Kazan. So, it, if you're diplomatic, from the diplomatic perspective, if you're Muscovy, you're at war with the three major powers around you. So, they're in some trouble right now. And they're heading towards Vladimir. So let's just chase him down in Moron. Yeah, I don't. I didn't think they could get away. Their manpower can't be that big, so I mean it can be, but you know. How could they? How could they run into enemy territory like that? It's ridiculous. Develtuga. Oh, our manpower is dwindling. Speaking of it. Vyataka. Oh yes, we destroyed them. Now let's run back to our territory quickly. Before we lose our entire army. And we've got. Oh, yes, apparently. Yaroslav or Perm or somebody conquered that. Occupied by Moscovy. Byzantine. Oh, the Byzantine Empire was destroyed. So now they're coming to us. Oh, we are not allowed to make royal marriages. That's great. That so our entire little <laughs> Okay, so that's years and years of work down the drain, but I think they would accept our alliance offer if we gave it to them. Cuz cuz minus I mean not now, but after we're not after we get rid of war because Minus 350. That would mean 57. And we have 65 positive relations with them. So yeah, they would accept. So good news, we're going to have an ally in the in the way by way of Crimea. So we're going to walk into here and start sieging that area. While an amazingly resilient Muscovy army sieges that area. Oh yes, but they're losing slowly and slowly. Crimea and them are... Yes, that's great. So let's actually stop funding the military. Nah, that might be a bad idea in the middle of a war. <clears throat> We're just gonna siege this. And hold the game that it would, uh... Hold the game... Oh. Let's see, what would they would do? Would they make a white piece? Yes, they would. Well, you see here, I would. We kind of need to, because we're going to be in a bad situation. So, let's go ahead and make this white piece. Yeah. Let's sit back. Let's stop funding our military for just a second. That way we can get, maybe our economy will start booming really good. And we can get our manpower built back up for the next war. And we can get an alliance with Crimea, that way the next war we can de we uh, can also have Crimean help. Kazan seems like a nice nation to be buddy buddies with. Um, seeing as we do have common rivals and the like. Um, we need to send them some improved relations to make our... To, that way we can get Kazan on our side, that way we can get Crimea and Kazan to team up on Muscovy a little bit. And maybe they'll take some land from Muscovy, make them a little bit weaker. But for now, we got to sit back, relax, grab a snack, and let our armies do their thing. And uh, I believe that's about it for this episode. It's a nice little exciting first episode. We got new buddies uh, in the making. We got we fought a war in which we destroyed two Muscovy armies, but yet they, they, they somehow managed to build another 10,000-man one. Or 6,000 men supported by 3,000 allies. I don't know. It's a crazy world out there, guys. But um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I'm Desert Fox. Please remember, if you like the video, to hit the like button. Uh, maybe even subscribe if you like them enough. I will finish this Let's Play. Let that be a, a, a message. Let that be firm. I will finish this Let's Play. 
come heck or high water, I will finish this let's play. But uh, anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed, and happy Monday, because this video is uploaded on Monday. You know what? Just, just bye. Bye.